right, Pisces, what is up? I'm here to do a collective reading for you guys. It's going to be for the next 48 hours. What can Pisces expect for the next 48 hours? Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest and the most high, you are welcome into this reading for the sign of Pisces. Please give me clarity and guidance. Please show me what I need to see for the Piscean Collective. All right. What's coming in for Pisces? What can they expect for the next 48 hours? 48 hours, please. Today is July 20th that I'm recording this on. So 48 hours from the time of you viewing this video, okay? This reading may resonate with you. Keep in mind that not every reading will resonate with every single Pisces every single time, okay? So number 32 may be significant. Somebody may be in their Saturn return door to spirit. Something here is opening up for you. All right. Then we have financial constraints and <laughs> wow, this shit came up in another reading. I'm almost certain. Uh, financial constraints. And then right after we had the woman holding the coin before, I believe it was this combination, but same thing. Okay. If there's any type of financial situation or you feel financially restricted at this time, there's going to be somebody who's either here to help you or you will receive the help that you need. Okay. You got to open up, have faith, have trust. The door to spirit is here, urging you to go through this. Then we have the temple path. Yes. Wow. Brilliant spirit. Brilliant. Two more. Bottom of the deck, Goddess of the Moon, Third Chakra, Archangel Sham Shamuel, and action. Time to take action. So I'm going to read these for you guys because the book says it very well. I kind of summed it up, but okay. So 32, Spiritual Awakening and New Beginnings. This door opens unto an expansive energetic realm where all new beginnings originate. The orbs of light are guiding you through the clouds of the earthly world, leading you to a deeper understanding of your eternal identity, the source of all true value and power. The door opens unto untruly unlimited potential or the changes that happen here reach deep into the core of your being. As such, this card often heralds increase your increasing powers into the spiritual arts and deepening connection with the spirit world. Don't be surprised if you find yourself becoming more intuitive, more aware of spirit's presence, and more powerful in your own healing practices. Now is the time to open up into the unexpected guidance and inspiration of your spirit, and then and to the magic and power of your true identity, Pisces. With the goddess of the moon, your intuition is on fucking point right now, okay, with the angel of strength right under that, and then divine timing is at play. Okay, be patient. Affirmation for this card is I relax and connect with my spirit's wisdom and power. I live in peace that my spirit brings and I know that the world of spirit supports me. So have faith. Okay, so then we come to financial constraints. Some of you, might, some of you guys may be going through um, some type of financial hardship or maybe need to plan for that. If, if you're not, restrictions concerning money. This card shows an old-fashioned safe with little money but lots of cobwebs and dust. Money may be tight at this time. Rain on your spending and be uh, circums circumspect about the financial requirements in your life. This is not the time of indulgence, so be aware of what is really important and consciously choose your expenditures, expenditures whatever. Okay, this there's a big difference between what you need and what you want. This card is telling you to take care of your needs, but bide your time. Things will get better. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. But for now, be willing to live more conservatively and always value money and the good things you already have. Affirmation for this card is, I can move through any cycle with dignity and awareness. I am open to receiving increasing wealth. Money moves to and through my life bringing benefits to all. Bam, Pisces. All right, then we come to the woman holding a coin. So this is what I was trying to say in the beginning. All right, female connection and money, health or value. 
The elegantly dressed woman on this card sits in a beautiful chair holding a bright gold coin. When the card comes upright in a woman's reading, it may refer to her directly and to a successful endeavor regarding her own finances or health. So women, if you are going through some type of financial pinch right now, be conservative, okay? Open up, have faith. Um, I was going to say something and I just fucking went. But anyways, um, something that you have done is going to bring success, okay? Be patient. We have, that's what I was saying, divine timing. Be patient with this patient card right here, okay? Call on the angel of strength as well. Car call on Archangel Shemuel, okay? Um, this card could also signal a woman of support. So this is for the men um, or women. Take it as it resonates. This card could also signal a woman of support or assistance regarding these issues. She may give you financial advice or connect you with someone who does. This woman may be someone you meet where you make your money, or it may be a woman of wealth and value. Either way, this card is telling you to be on the lookout for helpful assistance or even the possibility of new love or friendship connected to a woman of wealth and business. Affirmation for this card is the world supports me in my fin financial goals. I am taking, I am making ooh, synchronistic connections that serve and honor me. Okay, so then we come to the temple path, Pisces. I'm digging this energy. It feels very calm and relaxed. <clears throat> so with this temple path, spiritual purpose and support, this is falling right below the door to spirit. Receiving this card represents your own spiritual evolution. The winding path you are on leads you to a blessed temple in a lovely garden symbolizing the spiritual destiny your soul has had in mind for this lifetime. This card upright is here telling you that what you are going through now is all a part of your soul's process. You are on your karmic's path and heading in the right direction, and the choices you make now are important for your personal growth and life lessons. That's what I'm saying. Whatever you're doing now is um, supporting your path to some type of financial endeavor here. So whatever you're doing now, keep in mind whether this is um, investing into something or you're working on something, it's going to pay off. Okay. Whoever I'm speaking to now, somebody here, man, this relates to like, I went through this shit a couple years ago and it's funny because I was just on the phone talking to someone about this, but, uh, and that's how I can trans, I can translate this energy is there was many things that I did. Um, okay. So, for instance, sorry to interrupt the reading, but for instance, I started, not this one, but I, I made all kinds of hemp jewelry. I made all kinds of jewelry. I did all these painting projects. Then I started doing woodwork, you know, engraving stuff. And I did all these different little projects that I had a passion for. And I felt, okay, when I started doing it, I was doing it for a hobby to because I was going through some shit. Okay. And then... As I went on further, you know, people started wanting to buy my products and I'm like, oh, maybe I can make a business out of this, you know? So I started making business cards. I started slinging shit at the beach, <laughs> okay? I started doing, you know, little things, little hustles. And so now I look back at like, not all of that was wasted time. Yeah, I have all this shit that I'm like trying to, you know, find out what I still really have a passion for because, you know... It was all a setup for a punchline. It was all leading me to where I was supposed to go. So none of it was wasted, okay? Even if I didn't make money off of it, even if I spent a lot of money buying all the shit, even if it didn't pay out, I was constantly putting into, um, I was putting it out there into the universe what I wanted, you know, to, to do my own thing. And eventually I figured it out. All right. So this is what someone's doing. Even if you're going through some type of financial hiccup or you feel like you're spending more money on something than you're getting back. OK, this is all part of the process. Keep going. Keep going. OK, the lights around the temple represent the spirit world, your family members and your friends and angels and guides, all the loving support helpers who long to assist you call upon them and be open to their wisdom and inspiration. Call upon your angels. Call upon your guides ask them, show me the way, show me what I'm supposed to be doing here. Come on, give me them signs. Show me what I need to see. 
I'm here. I'm open to walking with you, Spirit. I'm open to walking with you, God. I'm open to um, accepting wherever you want to take me. I'm open to seeing that. I'm open to walking with you. Just show me the way. I'm, I'm open to it. I'm ready. Stop fighting it. Okay? Go with the fucking flow. All right? <laughs> Excuse the language. This is a wonderful life-expanding time. So keep in mind your personal priorities as long as your spiritual connection. So don't get caught up in... Don't be like lost in la la land like okay i'm people i may get backlash for this but you know when people are like i'm going to find myself <laughs> i like six years ago i had these two neighbors and a guy and a gal and one day i seen them put everything out in the driveway to sell and i'm like what are you guys doing they're like oh we're gonna go find ourselves and i'm like what the fuck I'm like, go find yourselves. What do you mean find yourselves? She ended up going down a state from where I am. And he ended up going all the way across the coast to the other side. And I'm like, you guys are just like splitting up to find yourselves. And they're like, yeah, I think that's what's going to be best. We both need to find ourselves. Two completely different journeys. But they were like wild. I couldn't believe what the fuck they told me. But now that I look back, I understand what they did. And I hope that they found their way. And I, and I was mesmerized at how strong somebody could just like let go of a relationship let go of someone you love because they they felt they talked about finding their own path and they went and i was like whoa that's pretty fucking ballsy right these are the same people who i moved into this house sorry for the sorry for the stories guys but y'all that watch me regularly know that they usually give somebody insight so these are the same people who, when I first started getting on my spiritual journey, I moved into this house. It was split down the middle and I moved in and a couple weeks after I moved in, there was this creepy ass gazebo filled with like all these vines. It was so creepy. One night I heard three little kids laughing outside of my window and to the point where I heard it so loudly that I actually got up out of my sleep and I went outside and I looked, nothing was there. And I'm like, there's no kids that are even in this area of where I was. I couldn't figure it out. So as time went on, I was sitting outside the sprinkler. I heard the knob squeak, squeak, squeak. I look over at the sprinkler and the water goes down. And I'm like, what the fuck? So I stop looking. I hear it squeak, squeak, squeak. And the water goes up. I'm like, no way. So then I'm sitting there staring at the knob, like waiting for it. Never happened. As soon as I'd walk away, it would do it again. And I'm like, what the fuck? Y'all, some of you guys may not believe in this shit. And that's okay. Please don't comment any mean stuff. This is for the people that do. Okay. So many weird things happened at that house it was an old 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 house like it wasn't even up to code it was old and uh so anyways i'd be doing dishes and my cupboards would swing open and i'm like what the fuck like i would get pissed and slam the cupboard shut and i was this was years ago i was just getting on my journey i was not as evolved or grown or learned as i am now but it was all part of the process okay so i go knock on my neighbor's door and i'm like hello i'm so and so and um I'm sorry for being weird, but do you think there could be like spirits that live here or something? She's like, oh yeah, here you go. Here's some sage. Go. And she had it on a puka shell, a little sage stick with a little prayer handwritten on a piece of paper. She said, you can say this one or make up your own, but just let them know that, um, that you live here now. And if they could just play while they're gone. And I'm like, what the fuck? I was like, she's serious. I was like, she seriously just had that shit. Like, how did you have that handy? Like, she literally reached over and grabbed it. And I was like, I was so, I was so scared. And it took me like a week to actually do it because I was terrified. You know, I was like, spirits? Like, what? And so then as time went on, I started realizing that um, they were just little kids. Whatever spirits were there were just little kids. You know, the laughing I heard in the beginning, the turning the sprinkler up and down, probably laughing their asses off at me tripping on it, opening cupboards. They probably thought that shit was funny. Okay. I'm serious, but I shit you not. I was so scared. I was shaking when I went downstairs to Sage and go upstairs and shake Sage. I was fucking shaking and, uh, I did it and it never happened again. There was never any more par like paranormal activity in that house. Okay. So then I started believing in the shit. I was like, wow, this is crazy because I was so terrified. I almost moved. I had people, my friends and family come check the house out and they got a weird vibe back in my bedroom. Their hair stood up on their arms. And that was before I told them all the shit. They just said that they got a weird vibe back there. And I was like, really? And so then I went and told them the stories. And so anyways, me telling you guys this is this is how I got on my journey. It's like it was all a little shit that happened. 
And those people that went to go find themselves, they were probably way more spiritually evolved than I was. And I didn't see their reason. I thought they were fucking loony when they told me at the time. Now I look back and I'm like, wow, those were pretty cool fucking people, you know? And uh, yeah, anyways, so that's what I'm saying. If you, <laughs> you got to trust. Sometimes we go through financial ups and downs, but when you put your faith in God, and you get on that path and you're open to it, finances will come. Because unfortunately, in the world that we live in today, money makes the world go round, right? Money is also the root of all evil. So don't be stingy. Don't be greedy. If you're going through something, I know everybody has different stories. So I understand that. Please don't comment and be like, well, I can't help this. And I got this and I got that. Okay, I get it. Like, I get it. But there's a deeper lesson within this. There's a reason why all this stuff is happening. And you may not see it now. You may not see it till five fucking years from now, but you will. Okay. Excuse me. So then we come to action. Number 17. Thanks for letting me tell you my little story. I hope you guys reach out to drop a comment. 16, 16 on the clock. Drop, drop a comment. If any of you guys have experienced that, this isn't my first encounter with spirits. Like, when I was a young child, I had a home that I know there was something that happened there, but uh, it was just the home we lived in as children. And we would hear our bulls and silverware moving at nighttime when everybody was asleep. Me and my brother would always hear it. And uh, like someone was grabbing a spoon out of the drawer. And yeah, there was, there was things then too that we seen and heard, but uh, yeah, anyways. The power of sage is powerful. I'm just saying. So then we come to action. Energizing effort. Willingness to work. This card tells you that now is the time. Uh, time. Far more aggressive for. Okay. This card tells you that now is the time for more aggressive forward movement. Holy shit. The galloping horses represent intentional and concentrated action directed towards your goals. This card upright indicates that you are on the right track, but your determined efforts must increase. While the white horse is your inner action of spirit and thought, the black horse is the outer work that still needs to be done. So continue taking action and trust your intuition. In time, you will break through and see the results that you've been working so hard to create. What was I saying? Okay, this shit's about to pay off. Okay, even if you're going through some shit right now, there's a higher, there's a higher purpose, Pisces, Pisces. I fucking love how these cards like come together. Okay. So then we come to the third chakra, Archangel Shamuel. Emotions of desire and life force energy. Life force, Pisces. All right. The powerful Archangel Shamuel is holding a beautiful spear of golden light at the solar plexus, which is the location of your third chakra and the center of your life force energy. The issues here resolve around emotions and emotions of desire, excuse me, and your personal energy. When this card appears upright, it indicates that an increased enthusiasm is present or soon to be on its way. This is a great time to move toward the completion of your desires. Your life force is vibrating with the power of the Renaissance and your soul is calling you to direct your energy in a focused, purposeful manner. This angel of power is with you now, so go for it, Pisces. All right, the third chakra is open to its perfect healthy state. I radiate a bright and vibrant life force energy. I feel excitement for all that I do. Angel of strength is here. Okay. Call upon this life force energy. Imagine this golden glow around your, you know, your navel area below your rib cage. All right. Being activated. Calling on that inner power, that, de that desire, that passion. Um, even creativity is what I'm hearing passion, desire, that enthusiasm, okay? Yeah, and the angel of love, community, and caring connections, yeah. So I feel like you're building, you're building something here, Pisces. So this was a beautiful read. I hope it resonated. I hope it gave some of you guys hope, faith, to keep pushing forward no matter what. I do see some type of financial restrictions here, but trust, okay? Trust, you are on that path. It's all for some type of a purpose. Let's get some advice. And 
bottom of this deck I just seen um, number 29 flow with divine timing sparkle and shine is under that so flow with divine timing embrace the ups embrace the downs if you're going through a down moment keep pushing forward keep action keep doing even if you feel like it's not like bringing in the rewards that you want or like the the achievement the success the whatever you're looking for okay keep going keep going because you're ma you're manifesting that shit that shit's gonna pay off Call upon your angels, call upon your guides, even family or friends, those that you can trust or those that, you know, are, you know, loving and support your idea. Call upon them, ask for help, for assistance, okay? Even community assistance I've seen over here. So let's see, can we get six cards of advice for Pisces? Oh my God, you guys literally, I'm so excited. Trust, what the fuck was I just saying? Pisces, you gotta trust, you gotta trust in the man above. I'm just saying you are ready and not the right time. So something here, again, with that financial constraint, something here is not and no need to worry. Um, choose a new direction. No. My throat hurts for some reason. <coughs> Give me two more. Let's see. Okay, so listen to your intuition. Meditation brings answers. There's no need to worry, okay? If you're thinking about doing, like, okay, with this choose a new direction and no, it's like, if you're thinking about, like, changing courses, now this isn't for everybody, okay? But this is for somebody, so don't, I don't even know how to tell you guys publicly without, like, So I don't want to affect anybody negatively, but um, if somebody here is like thinking about choosing a new direction for some of you guys, if you've been working on something and you're not keep going, okay, keep going. Don't change it. Don't change it with this no card here. Don't change it for others of you. If there's something that you're doing that you're. Um, how do I say this? Some of you guys need to choose a new direction. If some of you guys are working on something and it's, it's, I don't need, I hate this word. If you guys have been doing something for some time, like you've already been doing it, it may have been successful at one point and it's not anymore, or it's not working for you anymore, or you're at a job and you're unhappy there, um, and you've been unhappy, but at one point you were happy. Okay, for those people who that resonates with, you need to choose a new di direction. For people who have been working towards something and they haven't quite gotten to that achievement or to where they wanted, or they don't know if it's going to pay off and they're thinking about burning out and like going and doing something else, don't. Keep going, okay? But if you've been already established somewhere or doing something and it was good at one point, but it's not anymore, y'all need to choose a new direction, okay? And trust Trust, okay? Use your fucking intuition about the situation. Meditation will bring answers. There's no need to worry. Spirit, God, your angels, whoever the fuck, they got you. They got you, Pisces. All right? So I'm going to leave this reading here. If it resonates, let me know if it helped you, gave you any guidance. Let me know. Smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.